with just days left before the election, police in several states have discovered damaged ballot drop boxes that have been deliberately set on fire. So now this is different than the destroyed post office box, which was done by a crazy person um, with apparently no political motive. Uh, but these two um, instances happened in Oregon and Washington. Uh, in Portland, uh, for example, incendiary devices were set off Monday at two ballot drop boxes, one in Portland and another in nearby Vancouver, destroying hundreds of ballots in what an, one official called a, quote, direct attack on democracy. The one in Portland led to three damaged ballots, however, the one in Vancouver, which is the site of a close race between first-term Democratic Representative Marie Glusenkamp Perez and Republican challenger Joe Kent. Ultimately, hundreds of ballots were destroyed, which again, in the, some of those local races, could mean the difference. But also, most importantly, even if it doesn't, those people, those few hundred people, have effectively been silenced. So, who's doing this? Uh, well, we don't really know. But uh, I can make a guess. <laughs> uh, it's pretty well known that MAGA does not like ballot drop boxes. All right? They think that... Uh, the mules, you remember the mules, uh, thanks to that uh, Dinesh D'Souza and his movie, uh, what is it, 10,000 mules or 100,000 mules, a billion mules, there's the mules everywhere, they're, they're muling it up. Uh, <laughs> apparently they thought that the mules were, you know, doing ballot harvesting, uh, illegal ballot harvesting. So look, um, in some states before 2020, uh, it was illegal to do ballot harvesting. For example, you have uh, these groups that would go on behalf of voters and just collect your ballots and then bring it in. Uh, now, in, in some states, it's a, a li little bit more restricted. You can bring in ballots of your family members and deposit them in drop boxes. Now, after the 2020 election, of course, in uh, these 10,000 mules or whatever, um, a lot of states did away with some of those rules and massively restricted drop boxes, and even in some cases, completely eliminated them, all right? In six states, for example, they did that. Uh, and that said, there was never any real evidence to, to suggest that there were people that were gaming the system using the drop boxes to do illegal votes. So nonetheless, Republicans, a lot of MAGA people are very anti-ballot drop box for some reason. Uh, and so you have uh, these issues where people are going to take out, you know, the, to try to take out, I guess, these boxes that they claim are allowing Democrats to cheat, which, again, didn't actually happen. There's no real evidence of Democrats cheating uh, or, you know, using the ballot boxes in any terrible way whatsoever. And in, in fact, there are Republicans that also used these ballot boxes and still continue to use these ballot boxes. It's just these weird extreme right wing, you know, mega chuds uh, that, you know, are, are apparently driven crazy by the existence of a drop box. So to me, it would make sense that we are looking at a little bit of mega terrorism. OK, uh, from perhaps uh, one individual or an individual that's part of a group or a group. I don't know. I don't know. We, we don't have any details. Right um, now, authorities said at a news conference in Portland that enough material from the incendiary device was recovered to show two fires on Monday were connected and that they were also connected to an October 8th incident when an incendiary device was placed at a different ballot drop box in Vancouver. Thankfully, no ballots were damaged in that incident. So before I go on, though, uh, I want to get back to the six states, right, that have banned dra ballot drop boxes completely. Arkansas, Mississippi, Missouri, North Carolina, South Carolina, and South Dakota. Hmm. Gee, what, what do those states have in common? Oh, right. Republican legislatures. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and now you have other states that have restricted their use, including Ohio and Iowa, which now only permit one drop box per county according to the Brennan Center for Justice. So that's how crazy the legislature have gotten. But apparently 
They didn't do anything in Washington or Oregon. In fact, Washington, Oregon, uh, they have been uh, doing vote by mail and, and ballot drop boxes for a very long time now, generally without incident. But now, after the freak out from 2020 and, and all the conspiracy theories, now you have these kinds of incidents that have happened, not just this time, but it also had happened in 2020 as well. So now, surveillance uh, images did capture a Volvo pulling up to a box uh, in Portland, Oregon, just before security personnel nearly nearby discovered a fire inside the box. Uh, on Monday, Portland Police Bureau spokesperson Mike Brenner told a news conference, uh, in a statement, Washington Secretary of State Steve Hobbs denounced what he described as acts of terror and reminded voters that they could check online to see if their ballot had been marked as returned and would be able to print out replacement ballots or cast one in person. So very important that if you think you might have been affected, check that. If you're in those states in that area, check your ballots. Make sure that your vote still gets counted. doesn't matter who you vote for. I still want your vote to be counted. So now I mentioned uh, a weirdo setting fire to a uh, post office box that happened in Arizona. So now this is, again, somebody who claims uh, not a political motive. 35 year old Dieter Klofkorn admitted to doing it. Apparently he was a gun nut. Uh, according to Phoenix Police, Klofkorn stated that he had committed the arson because he wanted to be arrested and that his actions were not politically motivated and not related to anything involving the upcoming election. Okay. Nonetheless, I mean, this is pretty, um, I don't know. This, it, those, the ones in uh, Oregon and Washington are definitely related. And I think it's definitely because of the, all the BS conspiracies around these drop boxes. Okay. According to Max Reed, a senior research manager for elections at the Nonprofit Institute for Strategic Dialogue, quote, there's a lot of misconceptions and frankly, just lies about what security measures are in place. Not only in the ballot drop boxes, but in the whole system of election vote tabulation and certification. Small scale incidents like these arsons can be used to support and bolster those claims going forward. Not only that, but of course, back in September, the Department of Homeland Security in an intelligence brief which, you know, basically uh, they, there was a FOIA request um, that had this publicly released, and it said that the ballot drop boxes are seen by people as, quote, soft targets. Based on online discussions on forums frequented by domestic violent extremists and other threat actors with election-related grievances. Hmm. Does that sound, uh, does it sound like the right wing to you? Sound like MAGA to you? Does to me. Now, the thing about this that's funny, and, and there's not a lot funny to this, but, you know, look at me to find the uh, silver lining here. Uh, their efforts are stupid and easily countered. It's true, though. These drop boxes are constantly under surveillance. They have fire suppression systems in them. Okay. Now, the one in Vancouver didn't work. And that happens sometimes. At the end of the day, though, these attacks destroyed a tiny fraction of the ballots. Now, you can fix those ballots, as I mentioned before, uh, and the state should probably reach out to you uh, or, you know, you, you have uh, places that you can check to see if your ballot was returned or destroyed or whatever like that. But anyway, um, these are fixable, okay? But what's not funny about this is the fact that people, there are people out there that are crazy. And they're filled with so much disinformation at this point that they would try to do something like this in the first place. I'm sure that, you know, if you talk to them, they'd be claiming that, uh, oh, no, we're, we're actually protecting uh, democracy, you know, against uh, people who are trying to steal the vote. Yeah, that's it. But in reality, you know, they actually hate democracy. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't keep trying to destroy it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.